Hey, this is Suzanne Mosley with Esperm Books and More. I wanted to share with you today some books that my family is using for cycle one of classical conversations to go along with science for the second semester. Um, in addition to um, being an Esperm Books and More consultant, I'm also a homeschooling mom. We do classical conversations and I'm a tutor. This is our fourth year to do that. So this is our first year to repeat a cycle. Um, so these books, um, I love Esporn books because they are hand and glove fit with uh, what we're learning about in CC. And one of the great things about Esporn is that they make nonfiction fun. So I love um, so many of the science books. So I wanted to show you some that we're using this semester for weeks 13 through 24. Um, I'm gonna get my stash here. So the first one I wanted to show you was See Inside Weather and Climate Change. This book has been so fun. It's a lift the flat book and it goes perfectly with, um, sadly I found it after we did the experiment, um, but one of the, um, I think it was week 13. Ah, where is it? Here it is. When we talked about the Earth's tilt, uh, this is a great graphic that I wish I had found um, before that to show the kids. But it's got great information on the parts of the atmosphere, uh, the types of clouds, um, different climates. Anyway, it's been uh, a fun read with my boys. They have really, really enjoyed it. It does have some information on just the earth being millions of years old, those kind of things. So I just always like to disclaimer that. But this has been a really fun title that's gone along with, gone along well with the grammar that we're memorizing for cycle one. So there's that one. Love the Spotter's book, Rocks and Minerals. Um, I actually used it for one of the science experiments. Uh, week 14, I believe, when we talked about um, different rocks and minerals. It's got some great graphics of the core mantle crust. I do think this talks about the earth being millions of years old. We just kind of skipped that, but um, talks about the three kinds of rocks, igneous, metamorphic, sedimentary. Um, so that's been fun to read. There's even a section about fossils that I'm going to use in class uh, for week 15. But um, our community also does a rock kit the second half of the semester and um, I love having this because uh, it, it has different information about rocks and minerals, tells um, where you find them, different aspects about them. So this is going to be really fun to use as a resource when we have the rock kit for our science projects. Um, I love the $4.99 nonfiction hardback series that Esborn has. This is a title in there. I got this one just we're talking about weather and clouds, you know, storms, those kind of things. So I thought this would be just a fun nonfiction uh, read about storms and hurricanes. Um, also, Wild Places. This talks about mountains, um, jungles, and deserts. I primarily got this for the mountain section since we were talking about volcanoes this semester. But lots of fun nonfiction information told in a fun way that is totally not even boring and it holds my boys attention which for those of you that have boys you know that that's a mighty feat so anyway love this book excited about reading it this semester wild places also um, this is another similar to weather and climate it's a little bit younger um, this is question and answers world again lift the flat book but this was fun I used it um, when, um, so, but it goes great with cycle one. There's core mental crust, earth's plates, volcanoes. I used it uh, when we talked about um, uh, the seasons here about the earth's tilt. Um, I used this one. Wish I'd found the other book. Found it in the other book first, but. This is fun. Each page asks a different question, so that's why it's Q&A. This is why, all these why questions about the earth, what, where. So again, geared for a little bit younger reader, um, 
I love, there's several in this series. There's one called Body, um, which is fun for cycle three, Animals. You know, that's a great, great one. It does talk about the Earth's age, origin of the Earth, FYI. Um, so excited about all the new grammar we're learning about oceans and the ocean zones and the layers of the ocean and the ocean floor. Um, so see under the sea. I got this one in particular because it has a great section on, well, just check that out. This is really cool. I love all these books. Um, this has a great page about the abyssal layer and all the random, strange, unique animals that God made to live in that bottom layer of the ocean that is like so far down there. So anyway, I'm excited to read that one, that section with my boys. Um, to read about all those really strange animals. So anyway, this is um, Sea Under the Sea, which is going to be fun for that. Um, also, I ah, love this book. This is, this book, um, How Deep is the Sea? Um, for the first half of Cycle 1, there's one, Where Do uh, Animal Babies Come From? So it's just a gentle... Um, approach to just reproduction. You know, that was one of our um, things that we memorized, how animals um, reproduce. We learned that in cycle one. So that one's a great book in the series as well. But this one goes well with the second semester because it talks about um, the layers of the ocean. And this little penguin, Pippin, goes on a little adventure. He's so curious. I hope all our kids are this way. Curious. He wants to know how deep the ocean is. So it's his little journey to find out Fun little story. Love the illustrations. This little pop packet in the back actually took it out for to show you, but normally it is in here. This is what I love about it. It's a great visual for children to see how deep the ocean really is. This little poster comes with a book, and it's so ginormous you can't like see it. But how deep is the sea? And then it just goes on and on and on, and it shows, it shows Pippin's journey to the bottom there. But I love, you know, I have uh, children 10, 8, and 6, and I just like having a concrete visual um, that they can look at to get it, to conceptualize how deep the ocean really is that God made for us. And then this is going to be so fun. I love just learning about the sea and oceans. So this is the first encyclopedia of seas and oceans. It goes over a lot of different topics that you can even incorporate from first semester's grammar, just mammals, reptiles, fish, those kind of things. Again, a wonderful nonfiction title, beautiful illustrations, beautiful images um, to get them uh, up to speed on seas and oceans, and we're going to just read this aloud uh, together and probably just a couple pages every day because it's a lot of information, but just take it in and read it together and uh, just do a little more dialectic about the seas and the oceans. So that's the first encyclopedia. And this one, it's not really science related, it's more geography, but it's such a great one. I wanted to just include it very quickly. But this is uh, the Usborne sticker picture atlas of the world and just with our geography this year um, it's great it shows all the uh, continents arctic circle tropic of cancer equator tropic of capricorn that we'll all be learning uh, with grammar and then it takes um, each double page spread takes a continent so it's actually western europe eastern europe and then there's stickers that go along with it so whatever the topic is about that continent, your child finds the sticker and then goes back and places it on that section of the map. So this is just a really fun, I love maps, and this is just a really great one. So these are some wonderful resources for Cycle 1 Science. So I hope this is helpful. If you fell in love with any of these books like I did, you may order them from my website and the books ship immediately and they ship directly to you. And my website, my Usborn shop is SuzanneSharesUsborn.com. You can also contact me through that website as well. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching this video and I hope these make your science so fun this semester with Classical Conversation Cycle 1. Thanks so much.